All right, for our capstone uh, project, we uh, did the Precision Agriculture Year Yield Monitor Mobile Trainer. I'm John Perro. I'm Brian Holland. I'm Matthias Winsky. Um, and our advisor was Hunter, Mr. Hunter Massey. The purpose of this project was to create a, a visual for the Ag Mech 206 and 410 classes that so students would be able to um, see how yield monitors work and, all, and see the components that are put into it. Today's technology um, and precision agriculture is very important and um, you know, this is you know, the future and since we had no, or AgMEC had no way of showing how yield monitors work, we decided to um, put this on this combine. As you can see, the yield monitor is used for um, logging data for and in fields um, so that farmers can see the problem areas within the fields and that way they can um, fix those problems within the, within the next year. This is the combine that we were work that we work with is a 1971 um, cleaner F combine that was donated by the research farm. When we first got it, it was in pretty pretty rough shape. It took about three days to get it back here to put it in the shed and we almost had a disaster before we got it here, but <laughs> thankfully it made it back. For this project, uh, the yield monitor that we were going to install, they, they, no company makes one for this type combine because it's so old. So <coughs> we had to dig deep and find a yield monitor kit that would somewhat work with this, um, with this combine. So we had to retrofit. Um, the brackets and installation locations. A part of this um, project, along with the Creative Inquiry Group, um, we were going to restore the combine as well. Um, we had to sand down all the metal components and repaint them. We had to put new mirrors on the combine. We also had to rebuild uh, the spreader guard on the back and the spreader, straw spreader itself. Uh, we had to put a new seat in it, patch holes in the grain tank. So the grain would not fall through. Um, we also put a new lighting system on it and we put a video surveillance um, system on it that way uh, the operator can see what's going on from the cab. This sensor is a mass flow sensor. Uh, it's, for a, it, it's for a 96, 60, 70, 80 series John Deere combine. But this is an impact plate and it's uh, polyplastic. It was originally too wide for our um, clean grain elevator, which is very narrow, so we had to, I think I had to cut three quarters of an inch off each side for it to fit down in there. We also had, had to build a bracket for it to sit down on top um, of the clean grain elevator without it touching the sides because it um, will interfere with the, the, um, the grain hitting the impact button. And this is a moisture sensor that we, that we use. It's usually mounted on the elevator module unit. Usually goes on the side of the clean grain elevator outside the grain tank because our um, clean grain elevator was so narrow and there was no room to work with. We had to take the um, moisture sensor off of it and we mounted it under the impact plate on the on the outside of the clean grain elevator. And once the grain comes out of the um, clean grain elevator, it hits the impact plate and it'll fall and it will hit. This blade right here on this moisture sensor, and the header height sensor. This here is mounted. It's mounted on the side of the cab. So we're going to put it for, for not to get hit by the throat. It goes up all the way. But all this does is pretty simple. When the header goes down to a certain point, you have it programmed to your yield monitor. It cuts. It cuts on where it's able to collect data. And when it picks up past that certain point, it cuts the data collection off. That's why when you pick up an end of the rows, it won't collect while you're not cutting anything. The elevator shaft speed sensor, which we did not get in, all it does is it sits on the side of the usually clean grain elevator shaft, and it just collects the RPMs basically of the elevator shaft. And this, all it does is it just cuts the data collection on once you turn the rotor on. When it gets above like 250 RPMs, it cuts on and it stays between the range of 250 and 600. With our combine, we probably adjust that a little bit. This is a 1971 cleaner, but that's how it works. All right, the GPS dome. 
It, the only thing it sits on is a piece of metal, it's a magnet up under it. We had to build this piece of metal up and attach it to the roof. It's a roof fiberglass. All it does is it tells you the location you are in the field. That way it tells you your collecting data, where you're at, where the spots are at. And it, it's also can be used for auto steer and it's also used for speed too. We use it for our speed because we have a speed sensor. Alright, the actual display mic we have is Integra. And it shows the location you are in the field, the ground speed, the grain yield, the area covered, the header height, the moisture sensor, shaft speed. But these here are the actual sensors that is on the, the pretty much the whole yield monitor works off of. You got the header height sensor here, you got the, the shaft speed sensor here, it's got RPMs, tells you how many RPMs you're running. And that there's your impact plate, tells you bushels per acre. <coughs> but it logs the data. You can save it to a memory card or USB, that way you can take it out and import it to your farm works, whatever system you have, you can you know, <coughs> determine your trouble areas and whatnot. Right, the moisture and speed modules, these are what the sensors plug into. This here is the moisture module. The, the impact plate also plugs into it. The moisture sensor plugs into it. And this is the speed module, which has your shaft speed, your ground speed, and your header height sensor goes into it. That, all, the, all them plug in the back of the Integra. It gives you all your information. The fuel flow sensor, this is part of Dr. Kirk's, but all it does is it's going to show us our gallons per hour turned gallons per acre. All it is is a little turbines in the uh, <coughs> the, flow, the fuel flow stream basically. And it tells you it's like 83,000 pulses equals one gallon. So it just more, more fuel, fuel flow through there, more it turns, and <coughs> tells you how many gallons you burn. Um, these are some of the one they were building, uh, retrofitting everything. They were taking some pictures when they had to, they had to cut off the old uh, spreader guard at the back here, and also the spreader. Um, here, I think they're reading. reading no, they're, they're still cutting it off here. Um, here's the calf after they uh, sanded it down and painted it, and then here, uh, when we were working on the impact plate, this is one of the pictures that. The straw spreader, we had to replace two of the bearings inside. We had to put new flanges inside as well. Um, the spreader guard, as I said before, had to be replaced because the old one was rusted and falling apart. Um, and we had to put a new drive in. Uh, <coughs> and, uh, um, and we also put new uh, uh, spreader arms on it as well. Uh, the video camera system, we uh, installed a total of four cameras. One at the uh, back of the combine here, uh, so they can see when you're backing up because you have no visibility. Also, uh, to keep an eye on the spreader as well. Um, this camera right here is right on the side of the platform, watching the belts and also the clutch. Because uh, we had a we had a problem with driving it back. We wanted to make sure we could see if it caught fire or whatever. <laughs> um, this one right here is on the other side of the combine, watching the belts on that as well. Um, this camera is down in the green, well on top of the green bin, looking at it from down there. And then all four cameras come into this box here. And it comes under the monitor, which is in the front left of the cab, up at the top. Uh, the lighting system, we just put a total of ten lights on it. Uh, eight on the front, one on the back, and one in the green bin. The controls for them are right here under the uh, computer. Uh, the grain tank, we uh, the bottom was rusted through, so we had to uh, put a layer of, I believe it was aluminum. She I'm sorry. Andrew did this, and he did a great job. Yeah. By the way. Um, he, uh, we had to reline it there, um, and in order to do that, we had we we thought we had to take the auger off, but we didn't have to. Um, our total cost and labor for the project, uh, our estimated cost was, I believe, was 4000 at the beginning of the project. No, it was 76. Sorry, 76. 7600. Uh, but we, we went under that and we got about 48. And our labor, uh, we did about 200 hours of labor, which was about 5000 So a total of about 10000 for the entire project. Uh, future work, um, we will. We were having some problems with the header height sensor not working correctly, and uh, some of, it seemed like some of the wiring was bad, maybe. So we need to troubleshoot that. Um, we have to install the elevator shaft speed sensor because it never came in. 
And then uh, once we get both of those sensors in, we can calibrate the yield curve, <coughs> test the machine in the field once we have some crops to cut, and then, of course, create the prescription maps. And before anybody asks any questions, I want to um, I want to thank everybody who helped us with this project. Um, with, without our advisor, Mr. Honey, Mr. Massey, and a lot of y'all in this whole capstone class um, pitched in to help. And I just wanted to thank each and every one of y'all for what y'all did. Yeah. The CIs too. Rachel brought out the whole time. Any questions? Sensor module, you got your position sensor, your shaft speed, and your header height sensor. And that there is your moisture module. So I'm get up on top and see the impact plate where it mounted it, and see the moisture sensor on it, and I'll climb up on top. Uh, we got all we got all four cameras. If y'all want to come right in and look, or uh, y'all want to climb up in the cab and look, but we've got. Uh, one camera on this side, one on the back, one on the grain tank, one on the other side. Um, and then um, we also got the fuel, we got a fuel flow sensor on here. Uh, it's coming out on the back side of the engine. Um, when we do get the shaft speed sensor, it come down here and it'll just detect how many revolutions you get from your shaft speed. I need some audio to go with my video. <laughs> That's not really what I had in mind. <laughs> so is this thing like... Alright, so that's the integer display monitor. Shows yield, moisture, area, uh, wet weight and dry weight of your, your grain. Um, shows your bushels per hour, uh, shows your revolution per minute of the elevator shaft speed, and also shows your header height. And um, this is where you set up GPS um, for auto steer, which we do not have. So this is the Panasonic Tough Book we put in here, and this is a Geo Fuel Flow uh, computer software program that determines the fuel flow rate of the combine during a uh, harvest operation. And this is our backup video camera monitor, or our video camera display monitor. Um, it's a little heavy. Uh, we're going to have to replace it with a lighter one, and that's the DVR box that all the video cameras are plugged into.